And he was a promising athlete, loved by all that he touched. Nearly six months ago, Jojo Wright's young life was cut drastically short. Our Virginia Huey tells us how his community coming together to honor the 15-year-old. High school basketball players from across Nassau County took to the hardwood in Uniondale for the first annual Jojo Wright Basketball Invitational in his memory. A tragic car crash took the life of the promising 15-year-old athlete and Uniondale High School student on January 27. He was a great kid, great kid. JoJo's dad, Joseph Wright, was overwhelmed by the show of love at the tournament for his son. It still hurts you now, yeah, but it's a little bit of comfort knowing that, you know, he was, he's still loved and he was loved so much by so many people, barely, like truly loved, you know. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. The tournament brought together many lives that JoJo touched. Everyone called JoJo a leader both on and off the court. He was a good kid. Uh, he knew everybody. He was friends with everybody. He was absolutely outstanding. And when we say the word scholar, that's who JoJo was. When we say the word friend, that's who JoJo was. Nassau police hosted the tournament at its new training facility as a way to honor JoJo. The center was constructed in Uniondale to build a partnership with the community. And so we're going to learn and see things through their eyes and they're going to see it through our eyes. And that message then gets out that we understand each other and that we can better police our communities with respect for all of our communities. Today's tournament raised money for the Uniondale High School Scholarship Fund. A student who reflects JoJo's spirit of sportsmanship, community, and kindness will receive the scholarship. Making magic out of tragedy. And that's what we're here to do today. The fund received a $10,000 donation from several groups, including the Nassau Police Department Foundation, the PBA, and Bola Charity Foundation. JoJo's father says his son would have loved this tribute. I think he'd love it. I think he'd appreciate, you know, the love. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island.